I was so worried that they were going to screw this delivery up. Oh, uh, yeah. I put out another note for him just saying that, you know, this is apartment A, just in case. I mean, they're not they're not marked as well as they should be. And actually, I just pulled this out of my car, which is something that on track took a month to deliver last time. Here we go, it's the crane too. I have wanted this for like three months. It's just so expensive, I just, you know, no matter how good I knew it would make certain shots, I just couldn't justify it. But this video that I'm doing in two days is, uh, is the justification. And it really will up my uh, video game. Video game. We heard it came with white gloves. Kind of silly. Cleaning gloves, I think, is what they are. It's a weird feeling. I never felt a plastic bag like this. It's almost like really thin rubber. All right, and it comes in this nice case. It smells weird. There it is. That's so exciting. What's this little thing? That was for the charger. All right, well, first things first, get these 18650 batteries charging. These are the same kind of batteries that I use for my e-cig. So that's kind of cool that I already, you know, I need to compare the specs on it, but I already have backups. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna charge the batteries, and then once everything's ready to go, I'll turn the camera back on and uh, take it for some test runs. I definitely need to spend a lot of time practicing, although this isn't the same as like a a um, like a weighted stabilizer where there, there's a there's a larger learning curve. You know, I still need to spend time with this and master it as much as I can before Wednesday. All right, the batteries have charged. Let's see, yeah, negative, negative, negative. And then it has this little base right here. You can screw right on. Okay, so I spent a lot of time trying to stabilize it. Uh, you know, I'm sure the first time takes for a while trying to figure this out. Um, it's working. I don't think it's like perfectly stabilized yet. And this isn't even going to be the main lens I use on Wednesday, so I'm going to stabilize it with something else soon enough. But pick it up. I mean, that's just kind of what, what this is about. Shoop. And this is cool. You can control with a joystick right here. Down and up. Yeah, it can go this way. Uh, I'm super happy it got delivered today. Because there's, there's I, I, need to, I need to spend a lot of time with it to figure it out to get good at it. So I've been trying to balance the lens that I'm going to be using most of the time with the setup and I just can't get it. I've watched so many YouTube videos that I'm getting frustrated. Well, I have this battery mount that I have on the camera which, you know, raises it, you know, roughly an inch and a half, two inches. And that was the problem. So as soon as I took that off, I put it on and the balancing has become so much easier. I think I'm getting close to having it balanced. Bummer I can't use the battery pack, but you know, that's okay. I'm gonna have plenty of batteries anyway. This is my first test with the gimbal. Kinda, kinda move around. 
I don't know how well it is uh, stabilized, but walking across the house right now. Seems pretty smooth. Learning more and more, getting a little bit better at it. There's an app for it. That's pretty cool. Alright, so another exciting thing is you can do time lapse with this app. So hopefully I got this right. But I did 30 seconds and I've already chosen the places, so you start it. It will return to starting point. Starting. Okay, yep, you see it moving. It's going to take, I think I said like 30 seconds to get from point A to point B. Yeah, this, this would be great for it. Just. So, I mean, time lapse shots. Wow. It is less than 24 hours until the music video shoots, and it is definitely go time. I woke up, I've been waking up a little bit earlier every day to try to get myself on uh, like a normal schedule and um, yeah, I woke up and immediately started working. Um, I have a whole list of stuff right here that I, of stuff, oh, almost dropped the camera, of stuff that I need to do. Uh, I have more to do at home but right now I am going to uh, finish some things. Uh, some errands I gotta do. But I'm trying to move quick enough today that I didn't take time to eat breakfast here. And uh, it's like noon right now. I'm starting to get really hungry. So I'm gonna have a fast food breakfast. Um, I was trying to think where. The only fast food place I, I ever eat at, which is still rare, is Taco Bell. But I think I'm gonna get a Big Mac because I cannot think of the last time that I've had a Big Mac. I dropped an item off at the post office. I only sold one item today. Well, actually, as soon as I left the house, I sold another item. So, two items, but I only, only took one at the post office. Uh, luckily, it was a little bit higher dollar. It was like $55. And now I just stopped to get some the contract and the, uh, like the music video itinerary printed out. And, uh, yeah, now I'm going to eat. Uh, actually, there's, there's a Baja Fresh right here. Never been to Baja Fresh before. Um, he asked me if I wanted a bear style, which I had to say, you know, like, what is that? I said, when it's, when, it's when we put it on a bed of rice. I'm like, oh, that sounds great. There's no rice in here at all. You should have eaten your own breakfast. All right, just finished up at Pro Photo Supply, picked up some gaffer tape. I was just in Pro Photo two or three days ago. I wish I would have grabbed it then, blanked on it, but got it now. Uh, I think next is balloons. About to fill his car up with balloons. See what you think of this. Alright, front seat. It's not good video, I know that. Here we go, stay. <laughs> so, my car is gonna be really full tomorrow. And now I have all these balloons. Man. It takes up a lot more space than I expected. Happy birthday! I have a decent work ethic. I mean, it's okay. I, I don't know how well I would do if I actually had to work for someone else. I like doing things my own way and at my own pace. Um, I mean, today I'm, I'm making a lot of progress, I'm getting stuff done, and I'm going to get everything done that I need to get done. Saying that, I'm going to take off soon, but first... It's picking up where you left off. Picking up where you left off. Picking up where you left off.
That's fucking awesome. Is it? Is it super? Oh, look at that. That's so cool. That's not even Cer fucking certain movements it doesn't. Is it, is it battery work. operated? Yep. All right, got some more practice in on this gimbal. I think I'm getting better and better at it. Um, it's uh, about a little after three now, and I'm gonna take off to go get the uh, the Ari lights, which is the light set that I'm gonna use tomorrow. And uh, originally, I wasn't going to rent a lens, but the more I think about it, the more I just want a cinema lens, something that just is sharp corner to corner and it's just beautiful and. You know, it's just gonna make it look, just, you know, just that much better. And the lens I'm looking at are only $30 a day. So that's, you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's really not that much. And he's paying for it, so. All right, getting close. Hopefully I can find a, a uh, close parking spot because this light set is heavy to carry. I got a good spot, but it is kind of an illegal spot. So I'm gonna ask as soon as I get in there, make sure uh, they don't think I'm gonna get towed by parking partially in front of their garage door. Success got a uh, two C stands and the monster light in the back, and I did end up grabbing the uh, 35 millimeter lens. I'm a little bit out of breath right now. Uh, walked as fast as I could in there. Uh, got the the smallest fishing line that I could find, which is four pounds, and then these flowers right here. They're, they're pretty. Uh, I was going back and forth in my head with the decision on if I should take the lights and other gear home first before I leave everything in the car while I go in the store. Uh, I don't know, like if if the car would have got broken into and the stuff stolen, I you know I would not have been able to pay for it. It would have totally screwed up my credit, and I don't know. So saying that, I made the decision to keep it in the car. And I just walked like as fast as I could through Fred Meyer. Probably looked like a maniac. But success, I got it. And uh, I'm glad I did because it would have added about an hour to my day to take everything home and then come back to this area. Okay, but now I'm heading home to, uh, to finish up some other things.